Good manners. These days, usually people greet each other with hi, morning, afternoon, evening, and good night, instead of hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. To me, it shows gradual decrease of warmth in our relationship or respect for each other. Consequently, it affects overall behaviour of our society. The Holy Quran and the practice of the Holy Prophet have laid much stress on this social aspect of individuals and the society. Let me quote just one small verse of the Holy Quran, which in few words draws our attention to a very important aspect of communicating with others. The Quran says, speak with good words. Apparently, it seems to be a simple thing. But you think about its implications in everyday life. It plays a very important role in cementing relationships and smooth running working relationships. The English phrase is think before you speak. And there is a popular couplet of well known Punjabi saintly poet called Baba Bhule Shah, which means that don't break someone's heart as God lives in it. There is another Urdu saying never break someone's heart. It is like a glass when a crack occurs in it, it is not a joke. Islam teaches a believer always to be courteous and to be positive in thinking as well as in actions. That is why when a Muslim is asked how are you, he will always say, Alhamdulillah. That is by glorifying Allah, he expresses his thanks. Beliefs and practices of Islam grew believers in maintaining good manners and urged them to do a charitable act and greet each other with a goodly greeting. In fact, that is the essence essence of the religion of Islam. The Holy Quran says, Surely the noblest of you with Allah is the most dutiful of you. The Holy Prophet Muhammad was very affectionate to people around him, especially women and children. It is mentioned that during the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when in a battle, a lady belonging to the tribe of Thai, whose name was Safahana bin Hadim, became a prisoner. When the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came to know that she was the daughter of the proverbial generous and kind Christian sage Hadim Thai, he immediately ordered her to be released, but she refused to be set free unless all of her companions were also set free. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, released all the captives of that tribe. Safahana's brother, Adi ibn Hadim, was so impressed by this unusual generosity and large heartedness that he accepted Islam. It, also, it is also narrated that the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was extremely courteous and well greeted that he would never withdraw his hand first. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the best of you are those who have the most excellent morals. The Arabic word for ethics is adab. It is used for good manners. It signifies discipline of the mind or every praiseworthy discipline by which a man is trained in any excellence. Good morals and good manners are the real test of man's excellence. I would like to mention some more narrations about the Holy Prophet Muhammad Dizbukhahim, which show that he was highly noble and an affectionate person. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the most perfect of believers in faith is the best of them in moral excellence, and the best of you are the kindest of you to your wives. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, he is not of us who does not show mercy to our little ones or respect to our elder ones. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the younger one should offer salutation to the older one, and the one who is going along to the one who is sitting, and the smaller group to the larger group. A man asked the messenger of Allah, what Islam is the best one? He said, feed the poor and offer salutation to whom you know and whom you do not know. The Holy Quran starts with the word Alhamdulillah. Literally, it means all praise be to Allah. But it is, according to Muslim belief, the best way of offering thanks to Allah for all that he has bestowed on us. A Muslim believes that every blessing comes from Allah. And so even what we have achieved due to our own efforts it is ultimately granted by Allah. Offering thanks to Allah is in fact earning blessings of Allah. The Quran says, whoever is grateful, he is grateful only for his soul. It is an Islamic tradition that on finishing, eating, or any job, or any achieving any success, a Muslim will always say, Alhamdulillah. This is not just offering of thanks, but it is a supplication to earn further blessings of Allah. And he says in the Quran, if you are grateful, I will give you more. 
Here in England, or anywhere in the West, when someone asks, how are you, his reply will always be, not bad, or not too bad. But a Muslim will always say, Alhamdulillah, and express his thanks to Allah in whatever condition or circumstances he is in. This form of greeting conveys to others a message of hope and good feelings. Islamic greeting of peace is a regular practice which a Muslim not only observes from morning till going to bed at home in meeting people at work or other places, even during five daily prayers. The form of greeting used, used in prayers is plural, even when one is wishing it to a single person. The collective approach of a Muslim is the unit from which grows the unique, unique brotherhood of Muslim Ummah. Now just consider the beautiful and meaning, meaningful Islamic greeting, Assalamu Alaikum. That is, may peace be on you all. It is not a greeting just for the morning, evening, or night. It is a prayer that for of peace that may Allah, the Lord of the universe, thus bestow on you in every manner throughout the day. The word peace in the greeting is so comprehensive and fascinating that thanks a lot, or many thanks, or cheers, does not convey feelings of humility and thankfulness, which also earns divine blessings. So my request would be that at home or among our own circle of relations and friends, we should try to express our thanks with the words Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah, or Subhanallah, at witnessing something beautiful or expressing appreciation at someone's achieving excellence in any field. May Allah bless us all and grant us the understanding and wisdom to adopt beautiful ways of ethics prescribed by the Holy Quran and practiced by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Exactly.